I was just driving down the road, going from point A to point B. Happened to notice a big old boulder wall over here chilling, so I figured I'd come take a look. But there was a couple things I noticed from way off the road over there that didn't look quite normal to me, I guess. So take a look at this wall and see what we can see. Here she is, pretty big. I guess it's probably 300 and some feet long. There's a couple of local guys that are really good at building walls, and I know that they definitely didn't build this. Look at this rock. This rock's actually not even sitting on any rock. See how it's not touching there? There's like a four inch gap there. The fabric just bulges out and this rock's just sitting on the dirt behind it. It's crazy. See how this is kind of angling down and out and that down and out? That's why they didn't jam something in there because they couldn't really because these two shouldn't have been set like that. It's crazy. Look at this. Absolutely crazy. Look at this. Just for some perspective, that's a 16 inch gap. So I'm not trying to put anyone down or anything like that. I just want to point out a few things that could be done better. It's possible that the guy that built this will see this video. So see here how it, it leans way back and there's that one sticking way out and that leans, there's like double the batter there as there is over here. So what we do to check to make sure a batter stays consistent is we measure, say there's a foot and a half, we measure here, go up level and then measure back to get, make sure that top rock is in line with the batter. Cause you don't want to lean in too far back and you don't want it vertical. It's gotta be usually around 18% depending on the engineering. So this fabric sticking out over this rock, it's bulging out everywhere. It's craziness. Look at this rock, it's barely sitting on that one. It's leaning. Sheesh, what in the world, look at this. The fabric's just sticking out on top of the rock. You should never see the fabric. If anything, one little spot like that is normal. But this, it's all on top of the rock. It's insanely visible. Craziness. Crazy craziness this wall is. See here how this is consistent. What happens is they backfilled too far, so the fabric tipped over, and then when they pulled it back, they didn't get all the dirt out. Cause see how there's the dirt comes up and rolls like a burrito and the rock's sitting on that. And this rock isn't even touching these rock below, it's just sitting in the dirt. Look at that. Just sitting in the dirt on top of this rock. It should be sitting on this rock. And up there, see how you have top of the walls coming here and then this giant rock and goes up. So that rock is about a foot too big to be there. It's not hard to tell that rock should be about like that in order to make this all flat. No, it's, that rock's a foot too tall there. See how this rock here is only about six inches thick. It stood up, you can stand them up, but you have to have enough rock with enough weight and mass to hold all this back. That rock's only like five, six inches thick. That thing. You can see it's got these other rocks, that thing tips over, this whole thing would come down. It's crazy. So if you had a big rock like this, see how this one is even like even like a foot and a half, how thick is this one? Even this one's like 18 inches thick. So even if that one stood up, the wall would be 18 inches thick. This one's only maybe eight. Eight inches on a good day, so yeah, that's not how we would do it. If we were to use this one, we would put that going stand up, going back in or flat. Cause then you have a couple feet of mass there, not eight inches. So that's one thing to look for as you're building the wall. See how all this fabric everywhere, it's like bulge out. And then, so you can see so much of it. That should be back behind the rock, not right out at the face. This is the face of the wall. The fabric's at the face. Looks like they forgot one rock right there. <laughs> wow, it's just a big ginormous gap. Look at these, just, there's two foot holes everywhere here. This is crazy. So there's certain cities now that don't like rock walls and this is why it's thick right here. There's, these rocks aren't even touching. That rock is just sitting there. It's five inches from another one. This wall is a, this wall is a total, this wall is a hazard. If some kids are crawling around here, they're gonna end up a rock falling on them. So some cities in Metro, they all have block walls, and this is why, because there's so many guys improperly building rock walls around the Metro, and they're getting sick of it. Another right there, see? It's like a five inch gap there between this rock. Nothing's holding that rock. I can go up there and push that thing right up. It's just crazy. So again, I'm not trying to badmouth anyone. I just want to point out what we would do different and how to build a wall. Take this. There's a four inch gap right here in these rock. They're not even touching. These should be jammed tight. It should be tight because when rock are tight together, one on top of another, they bind and they hold really good. Like this, there's nothing binding holding any of these. This wall is gonna be, someone's gonna be out here fixing this thing in a couple years, get a big rain. I mean, one thing I do have going for them is they have some of the right size rock. These are, some of these rock are massive, which is 
good. That's what you want. You need rocks with the weight and the mass to hold all this up. It's not holding a live load. It's just trees and stuff up there. It's not like it's holding a road, but still it's not properly stacked. The, the fronts need to be flat like this with the flat going back. Some of these are sloping down and sloping over. So you set another one on and it just wants to roll off. The only way rocks are going to stay in place is if they're set like this. So those tops nice and flat and then you have these rocks. That's perfect. That's what you want. This one, see it's angling down and out. This corner just dips off. So there's no way anything's going to stay on top of that long term. So again, not purposely, not bad melting. We're not trying to make them look bad. I just want to kind of point things out on how we do it to make them last, uh, outlast us anyway. So there's definitely an art to it. It's not just stacking rock there. They got to be stacked properly, the right rock stacked properly, and then it'll last forever. Like this, it could last a year. It could last six months. Who knows? It could last five, 10 years. You never know. Sometimes you're surprised, but by the looks of it, it won't last too long so there's the structural aspect to it it's got to hold because this isn't just for decoration there's also then there's also appearance it's got to look good in order for it to look good they got to be straight tight nice fits and yeah there's there's a lot to it. it's got to look good and it has to work so it's got to do both it's got to be multi-function see here just big giant gaps rock sitting on fabric again It's really uneven top. See how this dips and then comes back up? I mean, the top doesn't really flow. See how choppy it is? It's just, the whole thing's choppy. See how none of these are touching? There's nothing binding or holding any of these together because they're all just kind of sitting there in the dirt. See how this rock here, how it how it slopes back? It's so thin, it's way too thin. It should have never been set up like this. It should have been set flat. So there's, there's no way to rest another rock on here. That's why they didn't. That's why this one is sitting back behind it and just let's see how it comes up and then just whack. So this one should have been turned and put in the hill and then that one on top. So that's what you gotta do. There's, there's usually two side, there's usually typically two flat sides to every rock. So like this one, see how this top is angling down. I don't know if you can see that grade, but this top is angling right out. So there's no way another rock's gonna sit on top of it. That's why they didn't put one there because there's no way it'd stay. So that's why it's sitting on the ground behind this rock. So you want to keep the, the, the faces straight. There's always usually two flat sides on a rock, put one flat side in the front, one flat side in the back. The top has to be flat. That's the only way another rock's going to stay there. It's never going to sit on that. See that? It's this big old angle. You set one there, it would roll off. So they set it on the ground behind it. Look at that. Look at this. You should never see this much of the top of the rock. Looks like they just threw a couple extra in there, left them, didn't want to deal with them. New development going in here. See how choppy and uneven this top is? Just doesn't look good and structurally isn't strong. I've talked to this developer before about doing dirt work and they said we were too much. So looks like they are getting exactly what they paid for, which is how it goes. Flat face, flat top, that's how you build a wall. But. It's a couple good ones, but this is just absolute craziness. This is so far, so far sketchy. Had to kind of stop and take a look. These gaps are massive. Here, just look at that craziness. Looks like the wall's been here a year or two, so it's made it this far. They do have the right fabric, actually, though. It feels like a, a non woven eight ounce. That is actually the right fabric. So this fabric's coming out the face, just flaps hanging out. You can see they cut that. That's a giant no-go. The only place you should ever see fabric is a little tiny spot like that. You should never see fabric bulging out the face like this. It's not too good. Right here, it's, see how it's just sticking out the front? That's crazy. These rocks aren't touching either. So again, not trying to bash anyone, not trying to put anyone down. We all got to start somewhere. No one was born knowing everything, so got to start somewhere. But for us, we, we started really small, started with little winger walls that was basically five rock and then worked, you know, did a little bigger one, a little bigger one, and worked our way up to a wall like that. I mean, anyone can do a wall like that. It just takes the right experience, the right rock, the right equipment to be able to do that properly. So you want to kind of start small, start small and work your way up. Otherwise, you can create a lot of disaster situations pretty quick. So. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you learned something on this. If you're looking to build boulder walls, uh, feel free to reach out with any questions or anything like that. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see more of in the future. And remember, it is what you make it to be.